Eddie in the morning. Good morning, Aaron. How you doing? Good morning. Uh, yes, a uh, special day today on the show. Uh, we love it when this guy stops by. Mm -hmm. uh, he is uh, one of the uh, biggest uh, broadcasting icons out there. And now, Gene, you, you, you always get so humble. You're too humble, really. <laughs> let, me bring, let me bring you out right, okay? Uh, he is a star of the big screen and the small screen. You've right. seen the movie. I Close grew up watching him on that movie. The Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yes. <laughs> that movie, yeah. You grew, you grew up quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, cinematography right there. Uh, cinematography masterpiece. Uh, but there would be no. And think, there would be no Avatar. At the end of the day, there would be no Back to the Futures. Right. There would be no uh, Star Wars. Mm -mm. If there was not a Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and the right. star of that movie is actually in the studio with us right now. Uh, you know him as well as uh, from WBKO News. Uh, Gene Burke, everybody. Good morning, Gene. How you doing? Man? I'm great. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. Um, uh, thank you again for coming on. Um, and uh, first of all, um, uh, how, how's life treating you? <laughs> oh, life's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Does it kind of mean to have a job? Life's good. Hey, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're, good, you're good to go there. Um, now, you weren't there on Saturday uh, for the Junior Achievement Mini Corvette Challenge. <laughs> no, I was now, not. Gene Burke only works the big rooms. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I'm just kidding. It was a great time. But, uh, did, what have you heard? What happened to the WBKO car? In well, I just I, I watched the newscast Saturday night and yeah. and, and um, just shaking your head. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was yeah. not a surprise to me because right. I, <laughs> it turns out we had a faulty engine. They gave everybody <laughs> new cars oh, this yeah. year, new engines. Right, right. Everything was you know checked and specified, and everybody was at the same level. Right. And then I hear that we had a faulty engine. Yeah. Had to go get the engine changed out, right. which I'm sure cost us. Some kind of time and some kind of lap. Yeah, and, or at least um, you want to say that. Now they also said we finished sixth, which sounded good on the air. All right. Which, but then you had an explanation for that. You finished sixth out of six. <laughs> I believe is what happened there. I can't say anything because I wouldn't even drive them back that far. So uh, they wouldn't even let me drive them. So I really can't say too much. Anyway, uh, so what's going on, man? You got a lot of stuff happening. Uh, big story coming up tonight, right? Yeah, actually, we're doing an in-depth report on tanning beds. No, you are not. Really. <laughs> and we have gotten this tip yes, this that there tip is this Il illegal tip. alien oh, no. trying to create a new a new form of tanning bed where it's a group kind of tanning situation. <laughs> really? Uh oh, wait a second. Here, here comes Enrique right now. No we doors. Know. He's storming up the hallway right now. Enrique around the everybody. Hello, Tony. <laughs> Hello, Erin. Good morning. Hello, means jeans. <laughs> you are a trap, means jeans. You are a dirty trap because you're trying to hold me down with my great ideas for group tanning beds. You? Well, well, since you're here, can I see your green card? <laughs> you, Jane, you do not want to see my green card. If you want to take me for a drink, all you have to do is say, Enrique, would you like a dirty martini? Okay. I would say, please. <laughs> this conversation has taken an ugly turn. Well, then, anyway, it's me, Jane, yeah. you stay away from me with your investigative reporter and your high definition cameras, okay? I've been on the internet before, and not and again. <laughs> Thank you, Enrique Raul, right there, everybody. Just storming up the hall. Yeah, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's smelled the coconut oil. Kind of hanging around afterwards. So. Uh, anyway, he's headed south. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He will be right back up here in a minute, though. George Clooney's literally holding him back right now outside the door. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So no, seriously, what do you got happening? A big story, right? Yeah. It's um, this time it's about uh, the city of Elizabethtown. Yes. Is attempting to bring in a commuter airline. Right. Bowling Green is too. Right. Somerset just lost theirs. Right. And Delta has decided to pull a lot of its commuter lines to uh, Cincinnati out. Right, right. Well, you know what Delta so stands for, right? Uh, I'm, about, I'm about to learn. Don't expect luggage to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't make that up, actually. That's a fact. It's on their website. <laughs> I saw it on their There's website. There's luggage. <laughs> Yeah. That's the Tony Rose yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Gene. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm sorry, this is the commuter airline, so we're trying to get one in E Town. They are. Uh, yeah. they've, they've been at it longer than Bowling Green has been trying to get one there. So right. we decided to visit E Town, see how they're doing, what stage they're at, right. compared to what Bowling Green's doing, yeah. and see if anybody can get one. Um, and especially in this kind of uh, economy where, on one hand, airlines, like I said, in Delta with yeah. uh, in Cincinnati pulling them out. Right. 
some of the smaller towns are thinking, well, there's more planes available now for us to get an airline in here and uh, right. and make money, or the, the, the airlines could make money right. on the commuter flights because uh, uh, the big thing they're pushing in E-Town is um, free parking yeah. and you can get get so, on the plane like in 10 minutes. So you're talking like cool. uh, you're talking like Southwest out of E-Town, potentially. Uh, they won't say exactly which airlines and neither will Bowling Green, right. but Bowling Green would say that they're talking to uh, Memphis, Chicago, and, I, and Atlanta, I think, are the three hubs they're talking to. Right. And the idea behind commuter airlines is to get you to a hub right. to go on the big guys wherever you want to all over the world. All right. Well, see, I think that's, that'd be kind of cool, though, wouldn't it? I mean, that'd be really now, nice. What, now, what exactly is the airport we have here at Bowling Green? Like, what, what kind of airport is that one exactly? You know what I mean? Because it's an airport, planes well, are taking off all the time. Is it more like a private airport or what? I don't know. It's a fully functioning, you know, yeah. public airport. Right. And it can handle uh, commuter lines. Well, it, I mean, the um, Air Force One has come in here with the president. Yeah. And the uh, football teams uh, take uh, the commuter airlines out all the time to fly to places. So, yeah. Well, your private jet leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would that I were on it once yeah. in a while would be nice. Mean but. Gene One, I think it's called. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so so why can't so why can't we just start landing uh, like Delta Airlines out here in uh, Bowling Green right now? I mean, what would stop them? Well, they would have to feel that they could make money doing it. Oh, okay, that tricky FAA. <laughs> Holding those down is what it is. Not the FAA. I don't They've okay. been here. They yeah. can't talk about it. In fact. Yeah, anyway. Um, I don't want to give the whole story away, but um, no, I, do. Bowling, I know you do. <laughs> Bowling Green. I can't stay up that late anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Eight thirty. I'm just, I'm out. I'm just in, uh, DVD. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so it's tonight at ten, though, right? Six. Six. Thanks oh, for playing our game. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll be here. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week long, everybody. Great, yeah. great research you did here, Tony. Anyway. All I know is Gene Burke. All I got is like 30 minutes of uh, close encounter the third time. That's it. That's it. Enrique threw me off. Um, well, so so well, it's good though. So a lot of, and so the big the, the majority of everything though happens in E Town tonight, right? You went up the road to E Town. Um, that's that's so that's it's what so is this going to happen or what? We're going to get. I mean, it, it, well, it's that's that's the good question. Uh, yeah. They have uh, four airlines they're talking to, and one in particular they say is ahead of the rest as far as negotiations. Right. Um, and they have a particular thing they're trying to sell to, to make it happen. Yeah. And it will be interesting to see if it works. I, I think they've got a good shot. Yeah. Um, I think Bowling Green has a pretty good shot because they're, right. they've got federal funding to help back them up right. to, to support a commuter yeah. line if it came in. Well, I like that. Uh, well, Jane, and it would be so much more convenient than it's always traffic hassle in Nashville. Yes. Uh, Louisville's further away, and then you got to pay for the parking and yeah. go through all the. You know, I've, I've, never flown out of, I've never flown out of Louisville before. You have, though, right? Yes. Yeah. I, have. I went to Cincinnati before Florida, Newport. I guess Newport, Kentucky, technically is like the Cincinnati airport, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you picked up Bob Guinea at the other day, the Bachelor. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, she went on a date with Bob Guinea. Did you know that? I didn't really. I had to pick him up. For, she did. To, I was a She's chauffeur. Being <laughs> yeah. How'd that go for you? It was really fun. Yeah, engaged. No, sure. yeah, no. There you go. So that's why she's everybody. really leaving. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's running out with Bob Guinea. Uh, to do the yeah, so <laughs> anyway, um, she must have been in Enrique's tanning bed. Look at her. Yeah. She. I went to the pool on Saturday. Whatever. I really did. Passed out. I had tan left. If it wasn't inappropriate, I would show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that's the first thing. The word inappropriate is in your vocabulary. <laughs> but that ain't uh, So anyway, um, uh, yeah. So this is good enough because because in Nashville, you know, it used to be like a, a, a just a traffic nightmare trying to get to the airport. They've gotten better at it. But you're right, though. It's still it, it, it's a day trip to try to. I mean, you got to plan to get because now you got to get the airport like a day and a half in advance yeah. to get through all the security and everything. And uh, I like to wear metal underwear, and that is a nightmare, Gene. Let me tell you. Uh, so that's the nice. <laughs> Sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> it is. It is. You think I lie, but I don't. Uh, anyway. That explains the noise when he walks. <laughs> well, no, that was actually dinner from last night. Actually. That explains that. Gene Burke, everybody from uh, WBKO. That's tonight at six o'clock. Tune in for that story. Uh, good stuff as always. Three Dog, I know you're a big fan of Three Dog. Uh huh. I got some for you right now. 818, 100.7 Sam FM. <laughs> I'm a Sonic Gene. <laughs> <laughs>